Hi and welcome to the Azam Shab channel on YouTube. I'm your host Mohammad Azam and this is the part number 7 of the learning iOS development. And in this part we are actually going to use whatever we have learned and we are going to develop um, uh, in a tip calculator, a very simple application, so you'll have idea of, about how to use Objective-C, how to use the interface builder, and also we are going to learn about delegates. All right, so let's get started. And this will be a very simple tip calculator. So this is our interface builder. Um, the tip will be displayed right over here because that is the main part of the app. I mean, you are more interested in the tip than anyone, anything else, and um, there will be a uh, a button, I mean a text box, okay, where you will actually enter the total amount. So we can have a something. To designing interface is also an art, okay, and uh, I mean right now I'm just dragging and dropping, but you have to be very careful of uh, where you put the buttons. Are they reachable by our thumb? Because thumb is actually doing most of the work, all right. Oops, uh, okay, here we go. So we're gonna uh, say enter total amount. So this is your total amount basically. Uh, the, your total bill if you have eaten in a restaurant. And let's make it a little bit, uh, well, a little bigger I guess. Uh, if I can get hold of it. There we go move this on the side I guess um, this might be too too much on the side there we go and we will uh, have well wow, it's kind of weird okay here we go so we'll have this kind of like this and uh, why does this always pop in okay here we go um, where's the button here we go and we'll just say the button will say something like calculate tip okay and tip this will be the the placeholder for the tip so the tip will be displayed over here let's say uh, tip all right so this will be the thing where uh, the tip will actually be displayed okay um, and that's pretty much it so let's actually hook up these things we have a tip to display we have uh, the text box entry to uh, hook up to the view controller and we have the event that will be fired when you click the calculate tip button so let's do that um, i'm going to say uh, over here ib outlet and this will be what ui label uh, it's kind of very slow and this will be tip label okay and this will be IB outlet UI text field and this will be the total amount basically so I will say total amount text field and these are the two things that we will actually uh, declare oops I uh, have to have a since this is a reference type you must have a, an uh, asterisk or a star property non-atomic retain IB outlet uh, UI label and then tip label and then property non-atomic retain and we are declaring the property um, for the UI text field and we'll call it total amount text field okay now the reason we have declared this IB outlets is that so our view controller can hook up with the uh, the elements on the interface and if I go over here in my XIB file which is the interface file design view file and file owner if I right click on it well you can actually see that these are available okay so tip label will oops tip label will actually hook up with the tip label on the screen and the total amount text field will be hooked up to the text field over here okay so we're not done yet 
because we still need to make a method that will be fired when you press the calculate tip button. So let's actually go ahead and do that. And we also have to synthesize the properties. So let's actually synthesize the first uh, tip label and then it was the total amount field. There we go. And let's go back to the header file and now we have to declare an IB action. So I will say IB action uh, calculate button clicked. That's it. And um, I think if I go over here and simply just implement this uh, action, IB action, calculate button clicked, and here we go. All right. Uh, we need to basically hook up this event to the actual button. So I'm just going to right click and you can see this received action. We have a new action that we declared. It's called calculate button clicked. I'm just going to hook up this to the button itself and then I have to select that which event or what what do I do to the button so that it will fire. So I'm just going to say touch up inside which means that whenever I touch the button here we go. Alright so that's done. Let's actually uh, you know build this. Okay so now uh, what we need to do is we need to calculate the tip okay and so let's actually get the value from out of the text box I'm just gonna say float and um, amount whatever the amount the person has entered self dot total amount uh, text field dot text Okay, but we need to uh, convert this into a into some value, okay, into some other value. So let's actually see how we can do that. Float value, and you will convert the amount, or will convert the string amount into a float amount, okay? Float tip equal to amount multiply by let's say, I don't know, 10% or something. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right or wrong, but uh, if I do it like this. Okay. And then I can simply say self dot uh, label basically. So it will be tip label dot text equal to tip. Okay. But now the tip is actually in the uh, what format? It is in the float format. So we're just going to convert it. NS string and string with format. And I'm going to say, I think F it might be for the float. I'm going to add a dollar sign just for the display purposes. And I'm going to say over here tip. Not tip label, just tip. Okay, and this will return me the tip and it will assign it to the label whenever I press the button. So let's actually run this. Our simulator just pops out. So here we go. We're going to enter something over here. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm just going to enter like $56.45. Now the problem is that if I press the return key, you can see there's nothing going on. Because I, I, what should happen is when I click the return, it should hide the text box. Because if it doesn't hide, uh, there's no way for me to click the button, right? So let's actually do that. So basically what we need to do at this point is that we need some way to find out that the text box or the control on the, on the view has thrown an event. And how do we do that? Well, we do that by the use of delegates. So every control has a delegate and usually the, the delegate starts from this like UI text field and then the name the, then the basically the uh, suffix is the delegate. Okay. So delegate actually means that whenever different actions take place on the element, which is in this case is a UI text field, we are going to subscribe to those events 
and then we are going to implement our custom logic now there are multiple delegates okay and let's see if I can actually pull it up uh, UI text field delegate over here UI text field delegate uh, it's always a good idea to actually go to the uh, the documentation and then uh, you know you can actually see that what delegates you need to implement now it's not it's not completely necessary to implement all the events or event I mean all the delegates okay like uh, the one that are necessary for the delegation to work it will so it will show in the de documentation that it is compulsory and you must implement and that's it's required now none of them actually say that it's required right so but we do need this one which is text field should return and it has to be implemented exactly the same way so it's much better if you go over here and uh, basically just select this okay and implement this so I'm just gonna go over here into here we go so I just implemented this particular uh, delegate text field should return and this is basically fired when you press the return key on the on the keyboard and I'm just gonna say return um, well uh, let's see text field ah was it a reassign on active or something resign first responder so it will resign to the first responder and we're just going to return this okay uh, let's actually go and run this and see what happens so I click over here I go to my uh, this one and I say return huh so nothing actually happened okay let's see okay yeah so after you do that you have to also tell uh, the text box the UI text field that who is the uh, the person who has subscribed to me okay subscribe to my event so if I just click on it you will see this delegate okay and you have to just drag and drop uh, to the file owner so that the text field should know that where to send the events so now it knows that the view controller is subscribed to my events and whenever something happens I need to send a message to the view controller and view controller is uh, basically subscribed to the events okay so here we go we go over here we say 56 point 34 we say return and you can see now uh, that it is being returned and then uh, we calculate the tip over here of course uh, there uh, you don't want to display all that so you can uh, adjust that particular thing um, tip should be I think if you are well you know there we go uh, let's pull this down over here and Here we go. I mean, you can actually set a different size. I don't know why. Here we go. And you should give it ample room to expand. Uh, it's really hard to get hold of. Anyway, but you get the idea. The tip should be, you know, you should make the the uh, important function to be really large you know and here we go so you get the tip or something so you have to pay this to the waiter or whatever so that's it I mean this was a very simple example very simple application where you learn many different things you learn that how to connect the outlets to the view controller you also learn how to implement the delegates and uh, you will be using a lot of delegates if you're doing iPhone programming and always have the documentation open for delegates because you have to write the exact same uh, name of the delegate or the method of the delegate okay it, it cannot be different if you think you like this video if this has helped you in any case uh, I do appreciate the donations and I take the donation using PayPal you can send out the donation anything 
to adamsharp at gmail.com and I really appreciate it. Thank you very much and uh, have a nice day.